I'm Corey. I'm Jillian. And we're living in Diz. We're here at Fort World in this lodge. We're gonna check out Whispering Canyon. Can't wait to eat them skillets. Let's, Let's go. go. So we were just seated and we were introduced to our waitress and her name is M.T. Wallet. M.T. Wallet. This is a place that's a lot of fun. Let's see what happens. Sounds like my wallet. <laughs> Sounds like Tammy's wallet. Because of the times we are in right now, we are asking you to scan the QR code for the menu on your phone. So we have goals. Goals for this meal. I've got to eat at least one and a half skillets because I'll just feel defeated. Let's see what everybody else has for goals. That big. What's your goal? Like, how many skillets are you trying to take down? Probably one and a half like you. It's going to go one and a half like Dad. I think Tammy's just hoping to take one. <laughs> I hope to finish one. <laughs> goals. I hope to finish at least one. My stomach is small. I'm a small person. I don't eat much. <laughs> The first skillet has arrived. It's full of potatoes and peppers and onions and greens and also tons of bacon, sausage, Mickey waffles, and scrambled eggs. We've got our empty skillets. Let's see what we can do because we have goals. And let's not forget the biscuits and gravy. I have never tried biscuits and gravy before, believe it or not. So I can't wait to try these biscuits and gravy. I actually do not know what to expect from this. I really don't. I've never had this before. You can see it's steaming. It looks good. I'm going to pour it on my bread and take a bite. I mean, it looks like oatmeal, yet it looks like clam chowder. That has a consistency and a taste like clam chowder, believe it or not. I was joking around, but... It's good. I tried the biscuits and gravy and that could be a thing. This is really good. But it does. It has a consistency of clam chowder. Obviously there are no clams in there, but to me, it tastes like clam chowder on a biscuit. Which is good. Thumbs up on that one. So here's round one for me. That's looking good. That's looking healthy. That's what Tammy's going after. Skillet number one for her. Jillian's well, already I'm done with eating. her eggs. I've been eating eggs. She's been eating. Eggs. Um, a piece of bacon. That's my stuffed piece of bacon. I got some sausage and I got a waffle. And there is my skillet. I'm ready to dig in, ready to take it down. I'm thinking I'm taking down two. I'm thinking she doesn't want potatoes. I like potatoes. Such anger for potatoes. Like, I, I love potatoes. Mashed potato, baked potato, fries, anything, right? But, you know, I have a small stomach. I'm actually slowing down just a little bit. And she's like, you want more food, honey? Slowing down. What do you think of the bacon? Greasy. Does it taste good? Yeah, it's just greasy though. It's really crunchy. Best bacon on the earth. 100%. No, it's greasy, but as my father just said, greasy bacon is good bacon. And it's not that much grease, and it's a little, little, little crispy, but a little chewy at the same time, which I really like. And it's delicious. Good. What did you think of the sausage? The sausage. Nothing special, but it's pretty good. Okay. What would you think of the sausage? I didn't have any. Just nothing special. Nothing special about the sausage. Um, what do you think of the eggs? They, I thought they were really good. They have just that taste that makes me really like them for some reason. Good eggs. Good eggs. Delicious eggs. What would you think of the Mickey waffle? Really good. 
Oh, I had two last night. Delicious. For me, let's try the sausage. It's tasty. I like sausage. It's moist. Um, they're a good size. And like they said, it's just like regular sausage, but um, it's really good. So can't complain about the sausage. Let's try the eggs. The eggs are good. They're scrambled eggs. I don't think you can really mess that up. They're not um, watery. They're just the right consistency. And not super fluffy. Kind of dense, but really good. I like mine with ketchup. And I did ask for ketchup. But unfortunately, under these trying times with COVID-19, they are not doing anything fun with ketchup. I even said to her, hey, with all these potatoes, we're going to need some ketchup. And they just brought out some uh, containers of ketchup. But we understood that. We're not surprised, but we figured what the heck, we'd give it a try. And so um, let's just continue to get back into this meal. I was really surprised to see the home fries come out with peppers and red peppers and green peppers. So that's really cool. Anytime you can combine that with some peppers, onion, steaks, anything like that, I'm on board. That's a man's meal. No, but let's give this a try. Um, they're pretty good. They're, they might be cooked just a little too much for my liking. But they're still pretty good. A little bit dry on the dry side, but still good. I haven't tried them with ketchup though, which is another thing I like to do is eat ketchup again with my potatoes, with my eggs. So let's dip them in the ketchup and um, we'll revise the review. Pretty good though. Like I said, a little bit dry on the potatoes and a little bit overcooked on the potatoes the way I like them, but it's not going to discourage me from eating more because there are a lot of potatoes. What do you think about the, what do you think about the Mickey Waffle? I wasn't crazy about the Mickey Waffle. I thought it was too, um, it was too bready on the inside. I don't know, it was like thick. Um, I don't like my waffles like that. The Mickey Waffle definitely is a different consistency. It's a little thicker on the inside. It's more like a buttermilk biscuit type of thing. Maybe a thicker pancake. But I like the taste of it. The taste of it is better than a standard waffle. It's made differently than a standard waffle. See all that cakiness inside? It's really good though. I like it. I love the taste. I haven't had a Mickey Waffle in so long. I'm like, yeah. And we'll have some more for sure because we have more food to eat but this was really good i really liked the mickey waffle so i'm definitely gonna have more of these little dudes and who doesn't like a waffle i'm losing it who doesn't like a waffle that looks like mickey the second wave has come there are the mickey waffles tammy's loading in the bacon yeah look at that tammy's loading in the bacon as we refill the skillet and we've got sausage it looks like they brought four Mickey Waffles, eight Bacons. Eight Bacons? Eight how Bacons. Did, how did you them? All <laughs> and four sausage. The second wave of eggs has arrived, and Tammy can't wait to dig in. Are you going to share that? I have to share? No. So the last one that's continuing to eat is Jacob, and I'm proud of him because he brought his appetite. This boy's still going. We're waiting. I tapped out. But Jacob's doing his thing. This is what's left of the skillet. Kind of the second skillet. Minus the potatoes. Because we did not get extra potatoes. But we did wipe out two, well, maybe one and a half waves of scrambled eggs. One and a half waves of sausage. All the bacon twice. Did we complete our challenge? Yeah. So maybe we did complete our challenge. That's gonna complete our breakfast experience here at Whispering Canyon. We were so excited to try it and now we have. So for me, um, like overall, it was a good experience. Would we do it again? Uh, I don't think so. I think we might search for other options. I thought the potatoes were overcooked, so they weren't very good to me. The sausage was okay. It was 
you know, just like any other sauces that you can buy at your local grocery store or something. Yeah, it's I, nothing think, special, I think but... o- I think overall, this is what I think. I think overall, the breakfast was okay to subpar because. You know, it's bacon, it's eggs, it's all that. It's you can't make it much differently. I think you come here more for the atmosphere and the fun. Yeah. And we didn't get a whole lot of that today. And I don't know if it's because uh, recently they've had to tone things down. And also, when I did ask for the ketchup, they're not doing that kind of thing anymore, or right now for these current times. So the atmosphere isn't quite up to par as what you might expect. Joe. And I mean, it's just any other Disney breakfast, just you pay one price and then you get all you want. Which I think is pretty cool, but it's just like any other Disney property breakfast. Yeah. I guess my opinion is if you're a good eater, then you would definitely benefit from this. Because like a family of four for us, it was like a hundred bucks because the kids get charged as adults. And if you're a good eater, well then, sure, do it. But if you're not a big eater, I wouldn't recommend it. My dad says I eat like a bird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm yes. not a big eater at breakfast, yeah. so but we did it for the experience. We did. Yeah, I agree with all that. And I'm not the biggest eater when it comes to breakfast, but... But you were today. You were today. today. You were the captain. I was the last one to finish, and um... But you know, it's just a regular breakfast. But when you put the atmosphere and everything, I just couldn't stop eating. Yeah. So overall, I would say that I would recommend it. Still, don't expect a fabulous meal as far as breakfast goes. But go for the experience anyway. Things will change. They'll they'll pick it up. I think they'll be a little more interactive, and you can scream for that ketchup when this. COVID stuff is all over with. So we still recommend it. I love the atmosphere. I love that the restaurant is wide open to the beautiful lobby. So definitely still recommend it. So with that said, I'm Corey. I'm Jacob. I'm Jillian. And I'm Tammy. And we're living in Diz. We'll see you in the parks. That's going to complete our dinner. Well, more of these little dudes. Who doesn't like a waffle? <laughs> I'm losing it. Who doesn't like a waffle? That looks like me. Like no. Tell me what no. you tell me what you think of the no. of the bacon. No. So we have goals, and my goal is to eat. Hi. My my juice matches my ears. <laughs> and my necklace. Bye. She's matchy matchy. She's matchy matchy. matchy. She's matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. Like ramen. That's right. Matchy matchy. And so if she's wearing, if she's drinking red, wearing red, drinking red, should I get orange juice? Because I'm wearing orange. And where are my orange mini ears? Because of these times, they're asking you to scan the QR code on your phone to go. To go? Okay. Because of the times right now, they're asking you to go and scan the QR code for... Wait, I'm so tired. Why am I so That's tired? right. I'm I tired. couldn't get out of the way of my own tongue over there in the lobby. <laughs> I am... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go on. <laughs> Jacob has the scrambled egg giggles. <laughs> I don't need her elbow in the eggs, though. No. 